if you actually read the Mueller report, and you just read it, just read it as, as nonpartisan, and that's tough for people, it does not say what the AG, the conclu it does not come to the conclusion that the AG came to. It does not come to the conclusion that conservative media has come to. It especially does not come to the conclusion that the president and the people who speak for him come to. Complete and total exoneration, that's not what it is. That's why he's afraid for all those people to testify, because as I said to you, as we were having uh, lunch the other afternoon, if you see those people on the stand testifying, Don McGahn saying what he has to say, rather than, and, and sound bites, rather than being in a 448-page uh, report, then that will be that will cement it in people's minds more so than reading the report. Yeah, I think you're I think you're 100 percent uh, right on that. And look, I think you need this for the closure. Yeah. You know, the president wants closure, and you'll get that through clarity. Let Mueller explain why he left it the way he did. Is this something that he thought Congress was not? Not that it's his power to tell Congress what to do, but was that his expectation? Mm -hmm. And then I think he's going to say yes. And then Congress should do that, not overreach. But oversight. Go through the steps. See if you can find something that's worthy of action. And they will be measured on the basis of how they do that job and what their outcome is. Vote them out if you don't like the way they did it. But they have to do their job. Otherwise, the institutions get flaccid. And that's a mistake. Listen, people are living high on the hog now. Those who are in power and in control and who are trying to block the rule of law. One day you won't be in power and you won't have control of the Senate. You won't have control of the Congress. You won't have control of the White House. And then what? Are you going to say, well, all right, fine, go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Ignore the subpoenas. Ignore uh, Congress, Congress's oversight. Ignore that. You, you should always imagine what would happen if the tables were turned, and I don't think that folks are doing that right now. It's going to be a rude awakening. When Especially it in politics. Yeah. I remember when Senator McConnell said to the Democrats when they blew up that filibuster rule, you know, made it a, a Careful simple, what you ask for. Careful. Careful. Now, look, with the emergency declaration, this president will be gone, but you don't think that some Democrat at some point is going to declare an emergency on something that all of us think is absurd yeah. because they can't get it through Congress? Well, now you have precedent. Yeah. And these questions, they're really formative to the democracy. I, I know why Nancy Pelosi is saying what she says. I don't see any need for that kind of speculation about what would the president do about an election. I mean, that would be such a horrible thing to do to the process. I don't think you should even prognosticate about it. Yeah. But... If you keep letting him say no to whatever the system demands, what do you think you're encouraging? Yeah, well, that is the issue that Democrats face. Do you do impeachment? What do you do? do you, are, you, are people going to think you're ignoring the rule of law? Well, he's forcing them, or Don. i got to tell you something. If you don't do it, yeah. You, you push him back on these laws. You push him back on the subpoenas. You know what gives him more power than anything? Impeachment proceedings. Yeah. You're almost forcing them by playing with the process now and fighting everything to go down that road. The Democrats who want it are getting bolder by the minute. They're saying, listen to this guy. He's not going to do anything that we ask him to do. Right. We have to go down this road. He's asking for it. Rock, they're between a rock and a hard place. Let's see what they do. It'll all play out, and you and I will cover it. Thank you, sir. See you later.